Hey, how's it going? I am the Sanguium, and welcome to the forest. So this is a game that's a your your typical crafting survival game, you know. Except it's not. It's a horror game, and there are things out there that want to kill you and eat you dead. Mm. Mm, yeah, it's very spooky. And uh, I'm actually playing this game for the second time for the channel. The first time, the footage was terrible. I had the settings all wrong. It was a mess, and I never posted it. But the sequel to The Forest is coming out soon. And shortly after uh, this series of The Forest is done, I will be playing Sons of the Forest. So why don't we go ahead and hop right on in, huh? We'll make a new game. Now, there's a bunch of different options here. Um, like, I don't usually play on hard or hard survival because it introduces a very niche mechanic where you have to watch your calories and if you eat too much of something or like some fatty material you're, you're gonna gain weight and if you don't exercise enough and swing your axe enough do stuff you'll end up getting sluggish your stamina will decrease and like these are invisible well not invisible but difficult stats to read that I'm, I don't know I'm not into that stuff so normal it is I wouldn't mind having harder enemies but I don't know I don't like the calorie system so here we are an aeroplane here's my son for Timmy look at that he's got a little survival guide Turbulence. Whoop! Oh boy. This doesn't seem like just minor turbulence. The whole front of the plane is gone. <laughs> oh boy, I see grass outside. Oof. Oh. That's, uh, quite the landing. Oh, man. Hey, now. Hey. Hey, that's mine. You cannot have it. No, that's mine. Ugh. Ugh. I passed out before I could save my son. Oh my god, I'm covered in blood, and I'm sleeping on Timmy's drawings. Okay. Now we're in it proper. I have played this game more times than I can count. So, I know where pretty much everything is. This isn't going to be much of a survival, like, crafting playthrough, as it's going to be just doing the story. Like, I'm going to try and make a base and stuff. And, you know, explore, do the story beats, and beat the game. But, I'm not going to do too much, like, quality of life building and all that. I'm going to save all that for Sons of the Forest. Like, I just want to play this game to, you know, just get my mind set back into the forest. Because I'm so hyped for Sons of the Forest. Like, I am so hyped for that. Oh my god, have you seen some of those screenshots? And trailers for Sons of the Forest. Like, I am so hyped for it. Of course, when you start out in the forest, you'll want to run around and collect some stuff. Alright, what do we have here? Twin berries. Mm -mm -mm. You know, yeah, see now, you don't want to eat twin berries. Twin berries and snow berries are poisonous! You eat those you're gonna not like it. You're gonna have a bad time. Alright, so where am I? I think I know where I am based on this giant rock here. Okay, I know where I am. See that area over there? In the distance? I think I would want to make my way over there. But first, there should be a village to the left over here. Fuck you, ball. <laughs> I just pick up a ball. Hit <laughs> the ground. <laughs> okay, 
mean, all kinds of good stuff. Let me tell you, the best stuff you can get in bulk, cloth and leaves. Leaves are so good. Almost invaluable, even. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. So, there's the giant pit. There's a giant pit in the center of this place, which I believe is considered a peninsula. I believe we are on a peninsula. And I thought there was a camp over here, but maybe I'm wrong. I am known to be wrong from time to time. Hmm. I'm beginning to think that I just went the wrong direction. If I go behind the plane... Ah, uh, yeah, look. look uh -huh, yeah, there it is. There's the village. And you can see that this village does not take kindly to strangers. Alright, we got some... Some fuel. It's actually kind of dark in here. Um... Got a soda. Got some ropes. Real quick, what kind of stuff can we make with the rope? I love making the bags first, but they require pelts and, and the like. I can make a crafted bow, which is always useful. Now, weak spear. Plain axe, weak spear, crafted bow, and meds. Okay, that's normal. That's what I like to see. Ah, I found me a lizard. And some meat to go with it. That was easy. He kind of just stood there. <laughs> Lizards are definitely one of the easiest things to murder. Alright, so now let's get ourselves to this area. This very special area that I have in mind. Whoa! Gotta be careful with the cliffs like that. They kind of sneak up on you, don't they? See that? Those were some cannibals. Hey, hey, I actually managed to kill a rabbit with a spear. That, that I mean, honestly, that's impressive to me. Oh, that was so close, I feel. Oh, I got him. Now, unfortunately, you can only carry so much... Well, I thought you could only carry one rabbit meat, but I just picked up a second one, didn't I? What can we do here? We can make a quiver, a small rock bag, or a stick bag. A stick bag would be awesome, but we only have one rope. Personally, I like me a good rock bag, but I think that takes something else. I don't know, I've, I just now realized I'm unloading a lot of random information on you guys. If you guys are new to the forest, I think you're in the wrong place. Alright, I'm not going to try and spoil anything because I am going for the story. So, uh-oh. Uh I've been found. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a lot of you. Um. Oi. Stab. Stop. Stop. Nope. This is the no-no stick. Stay dead. Stop. 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 Just stop. Yes! 
Okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, no, 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 no. All right. I'm trying to remember. Is this it? Crafted axe. There we go. Okay. Alright, so, check this out. If we take this... Now nobody can have it. Are you sure that's a good idea, buddy? I don't know how you don't catch fire in that. Man, you are really hungry. Oh god, well... Alright, that's enough, I guess. And now, just because we can, there we go, we got a whole set of person here. We got a bunch of bones here as well. Which we can use to upgrade our spear. And we can still have us our weak spear. This is just like a better spear, but the weak ones are the more disposable. Like, you can't really throw the upgraded spear, I think. But there we go. Now we have more stuff. I used some bones, so where are my bones? Probably rolled away. Okay, but we still have much to get done before nightfall, which who knows when that's going to happen. Okay, so across the stream here... There's a nice little area that I, as well as others, have declared the safest spot on the island. If you want to get started on your empire, this is the place to do it. And if I recall, I believe Mark, Bob, and Wade played the forest and by chance happened across this safe haven of a place here. By chance. I highly doubt they knew that this was the safest place on the island. I just find that little tidbit fascinating. So crafting. So here's what I'm going to want to do. First off, I want to make a drying rack. I, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter where I put it for now, so I'm just going to put it there. Any more sticks? Bah humbug. That's the only problem with this area, is that there's not a lot of sticks. You have to go across the river for those. Alright, let's... I'm not putting the head on there. That would be ridiculous. Now, over time, these will dry, and we'll have us some nice food that we can kind of just stash away and eat whenever. Now, what else can we build? I say we should build a hunting shelter. Just a nice little something-something. And, yeah, that kind of tells us what we need... So, let's grab the logs necessary. I've already chopped down some stuff. And look at my man, holding two giant logs on his shoulder like it's nothing. You couldn't pay me to lift two logs like that. Mainly because I don't think I can. <laughs> oh no, fun fact. One of the first mega projects I ever made in the forest was a nice little um, log cabin on an island on the far west side of the map. And the peninsula that I attached, I, I made a zip line that went to the peninsula. And I was chopping down the forest along the way. And I seemed to notice that I think cannibals 
Ag the aggression of cannibals increase when they notice that trees are chopped down, so my brain was like, ah, well if I get rid of the stumps, they won't notice that the trees are missing. If you get rid of the stumps, the trees don't grow back. So I just kept pushing the tree line further and further and further, and I just had to keep going and going and going for my logs. It got really tedious. Having to push logs that far away, and then, of course, cannibals are going to start intercepting you more often. Because there's so much space between where you're getting your logs and where you're sending them to. Right, now I just need sticks, and it's almost dark out, like, fully. Okay, talk about good timing. Man, yeah, look how dark it gets. Like, this is dark. Like, dark, dark. It's nearly impossible to see at night, making it crucial that you skip the nights. Or spend the nights in caves, because there are caves, in case you didn't know. Oh, look. A deer. Getting me some venison. And what can I do with deer skin? That's a lizard skin. Uh, deer skin. A spear bag, a warm suit, and a water skin. Spear bag, eh. Water skin. Mmm, -hmm. that could be pretty nice. You know what? Let's go over here. We have a lot of meat right now. Why don't we go ahead and do something with that meat? Namely, cook it. I mean, look at that health. I mean, hunger. Yeah, hunger. That's it. <laughs> Let's have some. Uh huh. It seems like I might have gone a little overboard. But look at that. Now we got full hunger. We don't have full uh, thirst, though. I believe around this corner here, though, we might be able to find something we want. Yes, that's right. Over this hill is the ocean. One edge of the peninsula. There's even like a little island over there, which I tried to build on one time. It was super inconvenient, because all the wood is up there at the top of that hill. Not to mention, I had to build a bridge to get over there. And then the cannibals arrived, and that bridge became a nuisance. I like building on islands, because cannibals can't destroy your shit when you're building on an island. So why are we here? Turtle shells. I want to complete our food uh, shelter arrangement by making sure we have food and water. Turtles can sometimes be seen on these islands. It's not always. I don't know exactly when or how to predict if turtles will show up. They just do sometimes, you know? And it looks like right now we're not very lucky. Still nothing. Wait! What's this? Oh ho! A turtle. Uh, two turtles! This is it. This is the moment. It might seem evil that we killed this poor turtle. But dang it, we need to survive. Like, that was a long trek for a turtle shell, but I'm not going to complain. We actually got one. Imagine going all the way to this island and not getting anything. So now that we have a turtle shell, we should immediately build uh, the thing into a water catcher. 
And we're not going to be able to use it right away, though, unfortunately. Because we got to wait for it to rain. Oh, wow, what a coincidence. Okay, it's raining. Now, of all times, we'll put this here. So that's going to collect water. Something else I want to do... I want to build a custom wall. Nice, nice. And... I want to build a birdhouse. I just realized how risky it was, uh, cutting that down in the direction of my camp. I'm pretty sure that uh, trees that are knocked down like that can, in fact, destroy stuff you've built. Excellent. Now that we have stuff here, let's go on an adventure. Let's go to the native camp. Like, stronghold. I, I guess it's more of a main camp, actually. It just so happens it's right over here, which is pretty ironic given how the place that uh, we're setting up home at is considered the safest place on the peninsula. Uh-oh. I heard that. I come in peace if you allow it. Do you allow peace? The answer is no. I should really try to avoid hitting the woman in front of this guy. I don't know what might happen. I mean, come on, man, you're the one that provoked me. The lady probably fled. Probably. Despite how much I've played this game, I still don't fully understand how the cannibals work. And that's by design. Like, apparently, uh, End Night Studios made it specifically so that it was difficult to determine how the cannibals worked. Yeah, I got a painting, like a little drawing, and a can of paint, which would be pointless to use right now. Circuit board. Another circuit board. Oh yeah, this is where you get all the cloth outfits. Eh. Alright, so this is their main camp. Now this place is kind of a big deal. There's a lot of nice resources here. And... It's much easier to infiltrate in the early game. The, the, because the more nights that pass, the stronger the cannibals get. So, you really do want to visit this place as soon as possible. Otherwise, it's going to be full of strong enemies, and it's going to take, like, half an army to take this thing out, you know? To take out these cannibals. Passenger found. Oh dear. Passenger. Passenger. And ropes. Thank you guys for providing ropes. More passengers. I don't think I've ever found every passenger. I'm sure I've seen all of them at some point, 
but never all at once. I've never completely filled out the, like, dossier or whatever it's called. Soda! Alright, now that I have a lot more rope, using, not deer skin, uh, rabbit skin, I can make a stick bag. Nice. I can now hold more sticks. And with... I could make a small rock bag, but I really don't care about that. I think a quiver would be much more useful in the long run. And a pouch. I, I just need to get more rabbit skins in the future. I've been spotted! I'm covered in mud. Awesome. Whoa! Don't scare me like that. And maybe I won't punch you. They actually equip the upgraded spear. I don't plan on throwing it. Grab some flares, that could be useful. Oh wow. mad now. Okay. I need to find my destination. This this place, despite the fact that it's so full of resources, is not my final destination. But rather a very special place within this area. And I can't seem to find it for some reason. Oh, I found it. It's over there. Here it is. Oh my god, it's just as horrible as I remember. Hello. Yep. Hold up though, perhaps we can make things easier on us with booze. to make things a little nicer. Map! Excellent. And a compass, because why not? A spooky note. A jealous god punishes a parent's fault on their children. It really do be like that. Now why are we in this cave? I'll tell you why. Loot! That's why. There is something in this cave I desperately want. Real quick though. Okay, right, that's already got the stuff. Okay. I don't really have any arrows. Wait, genuinely, can I? No. I can already make a explosive. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so here's the problem. This this is this is incredibly dark. Like. Even for me, like, I can barely see anything. You, you're, you're probably not seeing any much more than what I'm seeing. We're gonna want... Uh... One of these. Ready. Damn. 
That was a sick dodge, you gotta admit. That was a pretty good dodge. Let's see you dodge it when it's right there. Let's see you dodge that, huh? <laughs> Is there, like, a little fire pit? Doesn't look like it. Now, to my knowledge, cannibals on the surface, they respawn. But I think cave cannibals do not respawn. So this guy ain't coming back. Supposedly. I've had it happen before where they come back. I don't know if that's like a bug or what. Alright. We got a secret stuff. We got a secret stash here with rope in it and some photos that we cannot pick up for some reason. I thought we used to be able to pick these up. Two rope. Rope is so precious. I, I'm pretty sure I know the layout of almost all these caves by heart because that's just how much I loved exploring them. So if I go this way, okay. See that skull over there? That see that skull in the middle of the screen? We don't talk about what's past the skull, okay? We don't talk about what's over there. We don't care what's over there. We care what's over here to the right. And what's over here to the right is something that requires another one of these. Oh, fuck. I thought that was a person. It's a stalactite. How did you miss? He was right in front of you! Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finish you this time. Alright, was there only two in this cave? I cannot remember. Oh my god, I thought I heard running. Ooh, money. Just a pile of moolah. My god, I'm actually lost. Wait, oh wait, no, I went too far. I gotta go back. Somewhere on the right, there should be something. Here it is. Okay. We want to go down here. This has possibly the best item in the whole game, right here. And we're getting it right now in the first episode. Isn't that nice? I think that's nice. Covenant blood, wash it off to avoid infection. To my knowledge, infection is. Such a nothing mechanic. Like, I think it may, might decrease your attack and stamina by a very, very small amount. Like, an, an insignificant amount. Ah, body parts. How perfect. Excuse me. Oh, dynamite! And now the best... Oh, that, those are arrows. Um, that's rope. Rope is also nice. Duct tape. There it is. Best I am in the game right here. This axe? I love this axe. See, now, now I can really get into the elements with this thing.
Now, I think that's really all that's in here that is of value. Found a paintbrush. I'm red now. Found plans. Some, some kind of doc, doctor's document about head trauma. Uh, I love exploring these old caves again. Like, I'm not scared of it anymore. I used to be terrified of these caves. Like, just terrified, but... Now that I know where all the enemies are, I know where everything goes, like, all the mystery is gone. And though it might not be scary anymore, like, I... I just love these caves. They still scare me, at least a little bit. Like, the mystery might be gone, but look at this atmosphere. Look at this. I would be terrified if I was in a cave like this without any danger in it. Just an empty cave but in complete pitch darkness with a same simple lighter lighting my way. There's no way you could get me to enter a cave like this in real life. No way. Not a shot. Nuh uh. Now, we could go this way. The place I explicitly said we shouldn't go. What kind of stuff do I have? I accidentally ate something. Don't you hate it when you're crafting and all of a sudden you just go, um, oh, oh, that whole rabbit is just gone now. <laughs> Molotovs, uh, oh, but I used up, oh, I was foolish. I should have saved some of that booze. Oh, boy, am I really, should I, to, to say I'm nervous is an understatement. All right, let's go. Let's go the direction I said uh, we shouldn't go. Wait! Oh my god. All right, that... All right, all right, all right. Egg on my face. I went to light the damn thing and I realized, wait, no, there's like a little crevice up ahead I gotta crawl through. So I hit G to put it away, and I dropped it onto me. Like an idiot. Ugh. That's not a good sign. That's never a good sign when something goes wrong like that. Okay, we're in... Possibly one of the darkest caves in, the, in this area. Okay. Caves like this do scare me still. Even though I know exactly what's in this cave, it's still scary. Oh boy. I don't want to go any further. I'm gonna- I'm okay. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to go any further. I want to turn around and go away. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Oh my god, it's quick! Uh, freaking Virginias, am I right? Oh my god, the babies! How did I miss? No! I died. Ugh, I should have known that would happen. This is why you don't go down that path. And now I'm stuck. Okay. So, I managed to be alive. Against all odds. And what do you know? I'm in this cave. 
This is always the cave you end up in when that happens. Also, I believe stuff in the cave respawns when you leave or die. Which can be abused, but I choose not to abuse it. Alright, let's just leave, alright? This place sucks. Whoa. How is it still daylight? Or did I really spend that much time in the cave? Alright, well, I tried to fight the Virginia. It did not go as I as well as I hoped it would go. It went exactly how I thought it would go, I will say. So, mission accomplished. Okay, let's actually just go home. And, you know, assess the situation. <laughs> I managed to make it across the river without washing off my red paint. See, now this red paint scares the cannibals. For reasons unknown. For now. Got him. Meanwhile... This birdhouse has been collecting feathers so I can make my own arrows instead of relying off all these uh, modern arrows that I find in caves. I got some water. I got food on the rat. I got this fresh rabbit I could put on it. I, on, on hindsight, I don't know what I was thinking putting it over here. Knowing that I wanted to put it somewhere else. But whatever. Okay, so from here, the world's our oyster. What I just did is it's kind of like a routine thing I typically do. Uh, oh! Bird, hello. Hope you don't mind that I just murdered one of your friends. Oh, it scared him away. Oh dear, hold on. hi -yup. Got it. <laughs> but yeah, everything I've done so far is kind of what I just do automatically at the beginning of every playthrough, just because it's efficient. Like, the way I'm doing things is the best way, in my opinion, to get geared up with, you know, you got the best axe, you got all the supplies by raiding the main camp, and you got a handful of goodies like the stick bag and your upgraded spear, you got like a fuel can, a set of human parts whenever you need those. It's always good to have a set of human parts on you. From this point forward, we can really do whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna like keep camp here permanently. I find that just staying here for the whole game is kind of boring. But if I'm going straight for the story, there's really nowhere else I can think of that I'd want to build. Just because it would take up a lot of time. I kind of want to move on from this game to Sons of the Forest like as soon as possible. So. I'm gonna be kinda speedrunning this. But like in a casual sense, you know what I mean? Before I go, what else what can I make with this? Water skin, of course, of course. The water skin. I wanna make the water skin. Bam. Now we got water in the water skin. So if we ever need water and we're in a cave. We got the water skin. Alright, so, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. And remember, the Wasteland is watching. See ya.